Hello my dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine. So guys, here I am today for discussing those non-tech topics which you cannot dare to miss if you are preparing for ESE 2024. I know that exam is round the corner. You have hardly approximately 6 to 7 days left right now. Today is 8th, okay? So we can take it approximately uh, basically on 18th you are having. So 9 days, fine. But the main thing is you are right now also confused about the non-tech topics so today if you are from civil mechanical electrical ec i'll tell you those topics which you cannot miss based on your branch okay so quickly i'll tell you about it don't worry the paper will be yes you will be able to do it the paper will be that only which you have studied so don't panic for that i don't know what i have studied i'm not able to retain that is but obvious anxiety do happens but you have to be calm and cool now talking here first, now talking here first, let's move one by one. Before we start, first of all, you know, if you don't know about me, you can go through my profile and next you can join my telegram group for further upcoming classes. And guys, what are the topics which you shouldn't skip? Before that, let me tell you a few things. First of all, I'll just quickly tell you about the ESC exam pattern. Here, basically three stages are there. Prelim stage is there, main stage is there and your interview stage is there. Yes. So if you talk about prelims, you will be having two objective papers, two MCQ papers will be there, 500 marks will be total. First will be GS and general aptitude in which two hours paper will be there, 100 questions will be there, one question will carry two marks. Then technical domain, you have three hours paper, 150 questions will be there, two marks each that will make 300 marks. Talking about the conventional paper, so those who will clear prelims, they will go to the mains and mains conventional paper, 600 marks. Two papers will be there of technical domain, 300 marks each. Okay. Now, talking about next. Now, after that, as I told you, two papers, three, three hours each. And that will make three, three, 300, 300 marks each also. And that will make total 600. So, 500 marks prelims, 600 marks for mains and interview will carry 200 marks. So, in short, the total paper 500, then 600 and then 200. So, the person who will clear mains, then they will be moving to the interview round. Now talking about next after this, that what is the important topics which you cannot skip. So guys, I told you ethics, ICT, engineering, mathematics, general aptitude and current affairs. If you are from any branches, be it from civil, mechanical, electrical, ECE, you need to study all these five topics. Huh. Apart from this, the remaining topics, if you are from civil and mechanical, Material science, basis of project management and standard and quality practice. This is very important for you. So apart from that five which I have told you, you need to study these three also. This is important for you to study. You cannot skip it. Generally, if you talk about uh, material science, 70% of that you have already covered in your uh, 12 standards. Okay. So 30% is remaining which you can do it. Project management already if civil people are there or if mechanical people are there, we have studied it in construction planning and management and all. Then we have standard and quality practice. So if you are appearing from civil or mechanical branches, kindly don't leave these topics. Now, if you are from EE or ECE branches, then material science part, you don't have to miss it. Okay, so it takes ICT, engineering, mathematics, general aptitude, current affairs. This is for all branches, but specifically for civil and mechanical, you don't leave material science, basis of project management, standard and quality practice. Okay, so these are the topics kindly right now. Also, you'll say that ma'am, we don't have time right now. Also, if you will give a day or two basic important things which are coming every year, particular topic which is coming every year, you can go through it. Okay, so that in the last moment going to the examination and thinking that if you would have given a day or two for that particular subject, that would have been easy for you. But right now, right now also why I have taken this session because I don't know that which technical portions obviously you would have covered, but non-tech portion which you have covered and which you have skipped. So that is the reason if civil, mechanical or any branches are there, so let me tell you, if from civil, your priority, material science, basis of project management, standard and quality practice, don't leave this subjects and go. Okay, if right now time constraint is there, at least study the important things and go rather than completely categorically rejecting the subject and going. Clear? So just make this at a point. 
apart from that guys i already you know that there are static subjects dynamic subjects dynamic means like you have current affairs okay you have to be keep on updating regarding it you can't study the current affairs of 2022 or 2021 right now okay similarly basis of energy environment now new conventions protocols which has been released everything you have to study project management material science mathematics that is static subjects what you, what you have studied initially even in your uh, initial uh, school days also that will help you talking about the last three years data so if you just want to see that uh, what was the number of marks they have asked or basically the number of questions so if you want to get an idea so i have made this table also for you guys so esc 2023 prelims paper 1 23 22 21 and 20 what is the amount of questions are there you guys can check it out okay now talking next about it last as i told you you can join my telegram group but make sure that you study this and guys if you want to get an idea take the reference of the number of portions current affairs guys you just panic that don't know how much current affairs you have prepared it's okay how much you have prepared have a briefing of it's correct engineering aptitude mathematics 15 15 questions last year correct you can get it project management material science ethics values these are basics you'll be able to do it okay so these are the things which you should do it and don't miss these topics if you're preparing for ESC 2024 I in uh, all the Baidu's team along with all the Baidu's team wish you all the very best for your ESC paper in case if you have any doubts you can contact us or comment in the comment section and we'll be happy to solve your queries thank you everyone